Hello students. Today we are going to calculate one important numerical which is based on three phase star connection which is written on the board. So I hope you are ready with your pen and paper. So without wasting much time, let us start this video. Okay. So first we will read the numerical. In the numerical which thing is given that a balanced star connected that is star connection based on that problem is there. Load of 4 plus J3 ohms per phase is connected to a balanced. Condition is what? Balanced. 3 phase 400 volt supply. Find the line current. First thing power factor. Second thing active power. Third and reactive power. Fourth. So total 4 answers we have to find. So how we will calculate? So before starting the calculation, first of all we will understand the meaning of this type of uh, resistance load. So over here resistance is what? 4 plus J3 ohm. What does it mean? So you know very well that first one is your real part which is represented on X axis. So that thing will represent on X axis like this. That is 4. Total distance is 4. Like that I can show. 4. And that is J means imaginary part which is represented on Y axis. So that will be our Y axis. How much distance? 3. So over here that much distance is what? 3. Okay. So indirectly 4 and 3 means what? So for that purpose we know very well one thing what? That for the case of pure resistive circuit if you have remembered potential and current are in phase. Potential and current are in phase. IR means current through resistor. And uh, for the case of pure inductive circuit, what we know that whatever potential is there, that potential le leads the current and that is your inductor, that is your resistor. Okay. Now, uh, that diagram will compare over here. For the case of a pure resistive circuit on X axis, what we can write? Resistance R. So, that is your resistance. And for the case of pure inductive circuit, what we can write? Resistance, but in inductor resistance is not used. It is reactance, which is known as XL, which is known as inductive reactance. So, that represents inductive, represent, uh, inductive reactance. That means, in short, what I am trying to say that uh, indirectly value of uh, XL is given, which is how much? Which is 3 ohm. And value of R is given, which is how much? Which is 4 ohm. Mm. And if you will take the result of both of this, that means total resistance you will get, that is known as impedance. So over here I will extend the line. Over here I will draw one parallelogram. So that would be your resultant. That is what? That is Z. And if you want to find out the value of Z, so how you can find? You know that, uh, that is suppose angle phi. Hmm? You know uh, that uh, that is your Pythagoras law you can apply 90 degree so you can write impedance is equals to what under square root of uh, that is your R square plus that is XL so R square plus XL square so which is equals to R square means 4 16 then XL means 9 so which is equals to 25 so impedance would be 5 ohm so indirectly XL R and impedances are given to you Okay, next is what? 3 phase 400 volt supply. Now that is your line voltage or phase voltage. So, but obvious thing is that, that whatever supply we are providing, that is with the help of line conductors. So, that is why 400 volt is what? It is your line voltage, which is 400 volt. Now, first question is what? Find out line current. So, over here I will write what? Line current. Now, line current is represented by IL that you know very well. Okay. Now, in the case of a star connection, we know very well that value of line current is equals to value of phase current. Both are same. That means, if you will find out the phase current, so that answer of phase current would be line current. So, how we will find out phase current? So, we will apply Ohm's law. V is equals to what? I. R we cannot write. Why? Because over here, impedance is the resultant of both. So, I, Z. So, we want IPH. So, I will write IPH and that is your VP. H, Z is constant, impedance is constant. Okay, so from this equation, I will make subject as IPH is equals to VPH by Z. And uh, VPH is how much? VPH we have to calculate. How we will calculate VPH? So, for that purpose, 
वी नो वन थिंग फॉर द केस ऑफ स्टार कनेक्शन रिलेशन डिसिप बिटवीन लाइन करंट लाइन वोल्टेज एंड फेज वोल्टेज वी एल इज इक्वल टू रूट थ्री ऑफ वी पी एच इफ यू हैव रिमेंबर एंड वी वॉन्ट वी पी एच सो वी पी एच इज इक्वल टू वी एल बाय रूट थ्री वी एल इज हाउ मच लाइन करंट फोर हंड्रेड डिवाइडेड बाय रूट थ्री सो वी पी एच आंसर इफ यू विल कैलकुलेट देन यूर आंसर ऑफ वी पी एच विल बी टू थ्री जीरो पॉइंट नाइनटी फोर वोल्ट That same answer you will insert over here. Two three zero point ninety four volt impedance is how much? Impedance is five. So divided by five. So you will get the answer of phase current. So answer of phase current would be forty six point one nine forty six point one nine in terms of ampere. And phase current is nothing but the line current. So that is your answer number one. Okay. Now I'll move with the next second question. Second question is what power factor? so power factor is denoted by what that you know very well which one cos phi so we have to find out the value of cos phi so cos phi is equals to what from this diagram cos phi for you want to find so it will be your base by hypotenuse r by z so i'll write r by z r is how much r is 4 and z is how much z is 5 so 4 by 5 so it will be cos phi is equals to 0.8. Okay, so that is the answer of power factor. Okay, answer number two. Now third question is what active power. So over here I will write active power, and you know very well active power means what real axis. That means uh, uh, cos component x axis. So cos and its unit is watt, or you can say kilo watt. Okay. Now active power. That equation also we know that P is equals to what? That also we have derived in the case of uh, three phase star connection, root three. Then uh, V L I L cos phi. So root three V L is given line voltage four hundred into line current is nothing but phase current forty six point one nine into power factor cos phi is zero point eight. If you calculate this, then answer will be. Two five six zero one two five six zero one two five six zero one point zero nine watt. Same thing you can convert in kilowatt twenty five point six zero one kilowatt. So that will be our answer number three. And finally, next what we have to find reactive power. So reactive power is what imaginary, which is y component. Y means a sine, and its unit is always kV. A R or in initially you will say V A R. How will find it? So P is equals to what root three of V L I L reactive means sine component. So sine phi. Okay, root three V L line current is four hundred. Sorry, line voltage is four hundred. Line current is phase current that we have calculated. Multiply with sine of phi. Now value of phi again from this diagram we can write. So sine phi is equals to what? Sine phi is equals to perpendicular by base. So x l by r. So x l is how much? Three. Three by r is what? R is four. So phi is equals to sine inverse three uh, by four, and its value is very much famous. You can remember it. Thirty six point eight eight six. So that same answer over here, I will write over thirty six point eight eight six, and if you will calculate it. So your answer will be as one nine one nine six one nine one nine six point three nine in terms of VAR. Now you can convert in terms of KVR. So one nine one nine six KVAR. So that is answer number four. So that is all about the numerical based on star. Three phase star connection. In the next video, we'll try to calculate the numerical based on three phase delta connection. So now I would like to end this video. So till then, read hard, work hard. Thank you very much.